in the featherweight division at UFC Nashville. You got Billy Q, a.k.a. Billy Quarantillo, coming in at 17-5, taking on Damon Jackson, who comes in at 22-5. and five. Two guys with a lot of wins and just five losses, basically. Damon Jackson, one inch taller at 5'11". They're both 34 years old. Damon Jackson, one inch reach advantage, 71 to 70. Jackson is switch stance fighter. Quarantillo stands right-handed. Quarantillo lands a lot more significant strikes per minute, 7.9 versus 2.8. That's a considerable advantage. Quarantillo like a takedown every other round. Jackson, very close to a takedown on average per round, but just shy of that. So very close in the takedown game, but Billy Q has a big advantage in the striking, but he has just a 58% takedown defense. That's not great. Lost to Edson Barbosa by KO in his last fight, beat Alexander Hernandez by KO before that, and lost a decision to Shane Burgos. Those are the last three fights. He's one and two. Now, Damon Jackson lost to 50K Dan Ige by KO, but before that ran off four in a row against Pat Sabatini, Dan Argueta, Camuela Kirk, and Charles Rosa. So he's won four of the last five overall. And, you know, I like what Damon Jackson uh, is doing over the last five fights. I mean, he got KO'd by Dan Ige, a guy with a lot of power. Um, and th this is really, to me, an even matchup. But I just like Billy Quarantillo uh, a little bit quicker on the feet, in my opinion. Obviously, that's why he's landing so many significant strikes. And he's doing this over, you know, eight, nine fights. I mean, you're landing darn near eight significant strikes per minute. Damon Jackson better go for takedowns and better go for him early and often. The round one is key for Damon Jackson. If it continues on, the takedowns are going to be harder. Billy Quarantillo is going to get faster and stronger throughout the fight. And the longer it goes, the better off for Billy Q. And it could be as early as round one he gets off. But if not, he's definitely getting off in rounds two and three. Therefore, I got to go with Billy Q to win this fight to move to 18 and five, likely on significant strikes. We'll love to see the finish, but a decision will work too here in the featherweight division at UFC Nashville.